When you started your on-the-job training position, you were assigned a Workforce Solutions coach, which you met with on your first day. But what does a job coach do? Our objectives of this presentation is to learn what a coach is, what to use a coach to accomplish and when, what a good coach is, and look at a case study of on-the-job training success using a coach. What exactly is a coach? You may not have ever had a coach, but you probably have been in a training class. So let's compare what a coach does with what a trainer does. There are several key differences between a coach and a trainer. Coaches believe the individual always has the answer to their own problems, but understands they may need help to find that answer. And as a result, the individual learns how to find their own answers. Trainers assume the individual has already figured out the answer, that they don't have certain skills or knowledge, and they're there with the trainer to get them. A coach helps a person understand what they need to learn, then helps them figure out how to learn it. It may be a variety of approaches to accomplish that, of which training is just one. A trainer tells the individual what to learn. A coach supports an individual in understanding what they may need to learn or do to achieve a desired goal. A trainer gives information or instructions to improve performance or to reach an already defined level of skill or knowledge. A coach helps you understand why you need to do something. A trainer teaches you how to do something. There's several areas a coach can help you with. These are four areas where a coach can have impact. A coach helps you understand your strengths so you can keep doing them, as well as where you can improve. A coach doesn't tell you what to do or not to do, but helps you understand how to decide what to do. A coach may introduce concepts that may help an individual, but it's up to the individual to decide to do them. A coach can be a cheerleader and a motivator. Trying new things and getting out of your comfort zone can be challenging, and a coach will help you learn how to deal with challenges. A coach may help you orient your thinking. For example, help you understand what you do well and not overfocus on what you did wrong. A coach can help with all of these areas. Obviously, a coach won't be at your right hand 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So what are the situations where you might want to use a coach? There are several specific situations where a coach can help. You're stuck. You know you have to accomplish something, change the way you do something, or change your focus, but you don't know how. You want to change in your career. Let's say you've mastered your job, or you're doing really well at it, but you know it isn't going to advance you, and you don't want to do it forever. You want to stand out. You want to grow. Get a pay increase or a promotion, but you don't know how. You feel powerless to impact your future. You don't think you can change anything about your future, and you feel you are an endless trip doing the same thing. You've gotten feedback on an area you need to improve or grow. This could be from a performance review or an informal observation from a supervisor. It could be about something you lack, or it could be about something you don't necessarily need, but if you had, you'd be a better performer and a more valuable person. You're not sure about your skills. This could be technical skills. 
or it could be interpersonal skills like networking, dealing with coworkers, and so on. What are some good traits I will see in a coach? A good coach is someone you want to seek advice from. They'll help you brainstorm and evaluate them. They'll help you develop new ideas. They'll provide feedback on how you are doing. They'll assist you in locating needed resources to help you. They'll give you feedback on your communications and your interpersonal skills. Here is a case study on the use of a coach. This is a real coaching situation, but some details like people's names, the company name, were changed for privacy's sake. Sam is hired at a technician machine operator on the job training and trained to operate a plastics extruder at Extruded Plastics Incorporated. The job paid better than he had ever earned before, and he liked the work, the co-workers, and the company. However, he didn't want to do this for the rest of his life. So Sam thought to himself, what can I do to make sure I keep this job? He wanted to be seen as a productive employee and move ahead. But he realized he wasn't sure how to go about doing this. And then he decided he can talk to his on-the-job training coach, which he did. This is Teresa, Sam's on-the-job training coach. She talked with Sam at his two-week review. He wanted help with strategies to improve. They discussed what he was looking for and how he could achieve it. She introduced the concept of doing more than what's asked for and how to focus on being productive. Sam decided to do this. She and Sam brainstormed things he could do and how to look for more items where he could succeed at. This is George, Sam's boss at Extruded Plastics, several weeks after Sam started doing the strategies he discussed with his coach. He's very pleased with Sam's performance. In addition to his machine job, Sam reorganized the warehouse. Sam showed leadership qualities with coworkers and helped make processes more effective. Sam went above and beyond and didn't miss any quotas. They appreciated his hard work and his dedication and gave him a 20% pay increase. Sam has a great future at Extruded Plastics. Were our objectives met? Well, we learned these things. We learned what a coach does and does not do. We discussed the different situations where you might want to use a coach and what a good coach looks like. We also saw Sam being successful working with a coach in a real live coaching situation. If something during this presentation got your attention, sounded familiar, or you recognize something you need to do, contact your Workforce Solutions on-the-job training coach. We are here to help you succeed.